Yo, what's up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Hopefully everyone's doing well and welcome back to my channel. And it is the release week or like the week prior to the release of Fusion Strikes. And I actually went to my local card shop and picked up two of these build and battle kits. The reason why it's only two is because two was the limit. I was trying to pick up four to potentially get all four pre-release promos. But I think what I'll have to do probably is either buy the build and battle stadium or just buy the promos outright. But anyways, as you can see here, we have two of the build and battle kits. So it did cost me $25 each, which I think is pretty fair because I guess if you buy it off like GameStop, it's around like 20. And if you buy this at a card store, it typically includes like the registration fee or like the entry fee for like a pre-release event. But anyways, side tangent aside, let's just crack open the plastic real quick and take a look at the box. And here is a plastic off the box. And I don't know if it's just me, but am I the only person that actually likes like the box art of like these products or is it, am I just crazy? Or am I just a one-off? But either way, here is the box out of the plastic and on the front we do see Mew. So this is like the first like Mew dedicated set, which I think is awesome because we did have like Breakpoint and maybe like Miracle Twins or Unified Minds in English, but this is like the first like Mew only dedicated set so I think that's really cool so we see fusion strike right there and like this like bubble text on the side we see like the cityscape and on the back we do see the Gengar really want to get that Gengar VMAX altar because it's done by Sao Sao also the Espeon VMAX which was featured in the EV Heroes like premium collection box with like the two booster boxes and stuff and yeah so on the top it says Pokemon bottom we have the barcode and on the back you see right there it says a 23 card evolution pack including one of four promos which is basically the pre-release promo four fusion strike booster packs and a code card for note it says tcg live which is the new revamp i guess pokemon tcg online game so i'm not gonna really play it yet up until the new game comes out or the update comes out so yeah so let's actually see if we can get two separate promos compared to like two duplicates so let's open the first one. So behind door number one is a, it's a pamphlet. And we have the Oracorio, I guess, pre-release promo right there. And we are also greeted with our four Fusion Strike packs, which feature one of each artwork, which I think is pretty cool. So we have a Bolton, a Gengar VMAX, a Mew, like this artwork and a Genesect, very nice. And looking at the little pamphlet itself, it says Fusion Strike at the top, and it says styles combined in a new strategy. So it basically just gives you like building tips because usually for these events, you kind of combine this along with your four booster packs and kind of make like a 40 card deck. I think it's really fun. If you guys haven't gone to a pre-release event, I would highly recommend it. It's very casual, very low barrier to entry. So really recommend going if you guys want to kind of like dabble in like the TCG. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to read it, but I'll leave it here for you guys to pause. And behind door number two, we have... All right, so we have a different one. So we do have the Deoxys. And this one features Fusion Strike, Single Strike, and Rapid Strike, which makes sense because Deoxys have, has three different forms, which is Speed, Defense, and Attack. So I think it's very fitting that it can do all four, three, all three styles. And again, we have the four packs. Oh no, we're missing a Mew pack. How could they? So we have a Bolton, Gengar, and two Genesect packs. So man, the disrespect that they're showing for the Mew. So let's open up the Oracorio pack first. And before we go through the deck, let me actually sleeve up the promo card itself. So we have a Oracorio pre-release promo with the Fusion Strike stamp right there. And going through the deck, we do have a Level Ball, Shauna, Copycat, Love Copycat, Bruno, Fusion Strike Energy, Shelmet, a few copies of these, a Excelgore, Ball Crystal, Professor's Research, Karina's Focus, Poke Kid, Dreepy, I'm assuming the Dreepy line. Great Cloak and a Dragapult. All right, so this is what you get from, I guess, the Oracorio pack. And if we go through the Deoxys, let's first leave up the Deoxys promo as well. So very nice card, love the design. And like, there's just so much text going on right here. And if we look at this deck, we have a Quick Ball, a Training Court, Professor's Research, Copycat, Bruno, basically like the same trainers. Latios, okay. A Latias. So this deck might be a little bit harder because there are dual energies for like the attacks. We have a Chili, Salon, and Crest. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. Uh, Lessa Sparkle, 
Copycat, Karina, a, another energy, a few more energies, a Meloetta, okay, and a Smeargle. Love this artwork for the Smeargle. I guess these decks kind of give away, I guess, some of the cards in the set, but yeah, very cool deck as well. And now let's get into the pack. So I'm going to leave them in their separate piles. So we'll go through box number one first. So we have a Genesect pack. This is definitely really exciting to open a Fusion Strike pack before the initial release date, which I believe is a 12th. So hopefully this goes out around that time. But here is our first code card for you guys. And there is a little different design as well. So the code card design is a little bit different. We have like the white like honeycomb pattern with like a green top. So yeah, so I don't know what that means, but hopefully that means something good. So let's do the pack trick as well for to the front. And for this one, we have a Metal Energy, a Power Tablet, basically like Pokemon Pez, I guess, a Drake Cloak, Corvus Squire, and Minin with the Plusel in the background, so cute. Ball Toy, a Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, a Vulpix by Sekio, gotta love it. Growlithe, and behind it we have a Arcanine, non hollow but I really like the colors behind the Arcanine. Big fan of that, like the blue to like the orange yellow gradient. Very nice, okay. So I guess this code card means there is a dud, and I guess if there's a different code card design, that means we get a hit. So, still learning. Pack number two of box number one. If we can get any alt art amongst these like eight packs, that will be crazy because yeah, seeing prices right now is just a little bit too insane. So we're starting with a Psychic, a Zoroark, Copperaja, a Simipor, Drover. Ooh, this Bunnelby is done by Sui. You can just tell by the art style, but very soft, very like fluffy atmosphere to it, I guess. A Mudkip with a Palisand, I believe, uh, in the background. A Caterpie with another Caterpie. This is done by Arita. So good. A more Petko, a Heliolisk, and a Luxray non hollow. So, yeah, so for that code design specifically, it's a dud. So, still have yet to see what a, I guess, code card that does contain the hollows looks like. So, here is a code, and let's see the design of this. It looks the same, so I don't really know, but forward to the front again. This one we have a Fire Energy, a Shauna, Primeape. Simipore, Chansey. Why does Chansey seem so big? Like compared to the trees, I don't know why it's so big. But I mean, nonetheless, Chansey's super cute. A Galarian Zigzagoon. Oh, this is Mankey done by Sal Sal. Just like the soft brush touches. Like, I don't know. You can just tell right off the get it is done by Sal Sal. A Clauncher, a Growlithe, a Clauncher Reverse, and a Bolton VMAX. All right. All right, so, I mean, the code cards are pretty much the same. Oh, is it? Or maybe it's the outline. So the black outline dictates that it is a hit, I guess. But Bolton, VMAX, love the rainbow swirls going around it. So, all right, so we got one hit. I believe for pre-release packs, there isn't really like a set pull rate. Like some boxes contain zero, while others contain maybe like two or three, maybe four, but yeah, nothing's like guaranteed within these golden battle kits. Here is a code. Don't want to spoil the color of the code cards. So we'll go into this blind. So we have a fighting Metapod, a battle VIP pass, pretty cool. A Togedemaru, Eevee, Shalder, and like a Whirlpool. So this one's like the, I guess the fittest one, survival of the fittest, while the other ones get lost in the Whirlpool. Oh my gosh, this is Voltorb done by Komiya. Literally have no words, like the psychedelic like colors in the background. It is just, man, this is a huge like throwback to the Bending series Voltorb. It is, man, glad to know that Komi is still killing it out there. We have a Pansage, a Qfint, a Beware, and a Claydol. So only one hit for box number one. Let's move on to the first pack of box number two. Here is a upside down code for you guys. And let's do forward to the front. And we have a Water Energy, Frost Moth, a Ninetales, Togedemaru, Clam Pearl. Oh my gosh, look at that bubble design. Like the colors on the bubbles, like this pink, blue, yellow. Jeez, who is this? Anasaki Dynamic? You guys are killing it over there, goodness. A more Pekko, a Skarmory, very dynamic artwork. 
Shelmet, a Plusle along with the uh, Mine in the background, a Ninetales Reverse, and a Huntail uh, Non-Hollow. Pack number two of box number two. Here is another upside down code card. Gotta get used to that. Four to the front. And for this pack, we have a Dark Energy, a Shauna, Victini, Mythical Pokemon, very cool. Electric, a Morpeko, Eevee, Shelter in the Whirlpool, a Voltor by Komiya, Pansage, a Drillbur Reverse, and a Chandelure. V. All right, just a regular V card. I will save the sleeves for a potential better hit. Maybe we do have two packs left. So we have pack number three of box number two. So we have another upside down code. I don't think I'll get used to it, honestly. But let's do four to the front. And we have a lightning energy, a clawed, sir. Very cool. A spongy glove. This reminds me of that one karate episode in SpongeBob with like Sandy and SpongeBob. Random side tangent. A Corvus Squire, a Wulu by Tanaka, a Gossifleur, Mudkip with the Sandy Gas? Is that what it's called? Sandy Gas. I think it's Sandy Gas. Ooh, Sandshrew by Mori, a Qfint, Dewpider Reverse, and another Luxray non hollow. Okay, it boils down to this pack, our final pack, pack number four of box number two. Here is a upside down code. Four to the front, and can we get a hit from this last pack? So we have a Metal, Frostmoth, Ninetales, Togedemaru, Pansage, Qfint, Gligar, Slugma, Skitty by Baba, a Judge Reverse, and for our final hit, potentially, is a Corvin Knight non hollow. All right, so not the best way to end, but as always, we do have one Shiny Star V-Pack to open because we are on the search for the Marnie Full Art. So can we get it in this pack right here? So we have a Blastoise uh, VMAX deck um, advertisement, and on the back we see a Galarian Moltres. No, that's a Zapdos. Come on. So let's get into this pack. So we have a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Yamper, Plus, a Poltergeist, yes, Poltergeist, Rusted Shield, a Drake, no, Arctus, Arctivish, Arctivish, I think, Zashian Hollow, a Galarian Surfesh Hollow, a Ditto V, and we have a Gossifleur, um, Gossifleur Reverse, can't even formulate my words, but we do have a reverse. And for today's clear file, we're gonna be looking at this one. So we do see Lucario, we see a little mini Mew right there. I'm pretty sure they're looking for Mew because the movie has a Lucario searching for like the mystery of Mew, something like that. I didn't watch it, I should watch it. But we have a Sneasel, right? Sneasel, or is that a Weavile? I think it's Weavile. Sneasel, Sneasel. No, Weavile, because of the little collar thing. We have a Meowth, Lucario. Mime Jr., Pikachu, Squirtle, Bonsly, a Munchlax, and a Fanfi, and of course we cannot forget about our mascot, Mew. Mew is such a cute Pokemon. I think by now you guys know that Mew is probably my favorite Pokemon. And here is another look from top to bottom, so this is going to be the clear file for this video, and yeah. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I do plan on buying a few Fusion Strike booster boxes, but I did see Neon Cactus's video where he opened a box and like the colors were slightly off. So as you guys already know, the English side of Pokemon and their QC is just non-existent. So hopefully I can get a decent box with like no errors, but I might pick up like one or two, but we'll see. So stay tuned for that booster box opening and I'll also be sprinkling in some celebrations openings as well. But yeah, I really do appreciate it if you guys do click on my videos out of like the several thousand that's on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys like this video, please like it. If you want more content like this, please subscribe. We're on the road to 1k subs, so it will be really cool to hit that before the end of the year. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.